Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Foster. I have another tutorial for you. This time we are going to use a Venn diagram to compare and contrast two artworks. So for weeks five and six, September the 8th to September the 18th, step two is compare and contrast artworks. These artworks appear in your slideshow for lesson three. Everyone will have their own copy of this file. The first page has the two artworks on it. Study the two works of art to see how the artist used lines to create feelings. This artwork on the left is by Richard Dibencorn. He's an American. This is called Ocean Park number 105. Since it's called 105, it was more than likely a series of paintings that he created. The second artwork on the right hand side is by Claude Monet. He is a French artist. Palazzo da Mula in Venice. Note the years. Richard de, uh, Divencorn was painted in 1978 and Claude Monet's was painted in 1908. To compare and contrast, click on the second slide. You will see a Venn diagram and you have information in the margin. In the artist box, type the name of the artist title of the artwork and the year it was created. So right here where it says replace this text with your answers, you would type Richard and then let me show you something even easier. You can click in here, click and drag. You can right click, copy, Allow access. I want to copy. Let me try it one more again. Right click, copy. Go back to your Venn diagram. We can click inside this text box and right click to paste. Voila! All the information is there. How cool is that? Let's go back and do that little tech tip again. We're going to enter this text box with the Claude Monet information. Click and drag to highlight it. You can right click your mouse and select, oh, not paste, control Z. If you hold the control button down on your keyboard and tap the Z, it will undo your last action. You're learning all types of cool tips and tricks with this tutorial. We have the text we want to copy highlighted. Hovering over it with your mouse, you can write click and choose to copy then go back to your second slide artist number two I'm going to highlight this right click and paste it now first question what colors are used in the two paintings compare the two paintings look at the colors any colors that they both use you would type in this section. For example, they both have used blue. Why did it type in the wrong place? Here we go, let me try that again. Click in here, blue. Okay. Let's see, a different color that's in Richard's than in Claude Monet's is some of this orange. So we can come back here and just on the side for Richards, like the word orange. I don't see any purples in Richards, but I do see some purples in Claude Monet's. So come over here, replace the text, purple, okay? Now, 
That's just one of the questions. You have two more questions to answer. Where are the horizontal lines in the paintings? So you would compare the paintings and decide where are the horizontal lines? Are they in the top, the bottom, the left, or the right? Come back to your Venn diagram. If it's a different location, then you will add that answer, okay? If it's something that they have in common, then in this section where the Venn diagram crosses over, you would add that answer. And if Monet's is different than Richard's, we enter the text box again and add that answer. Now, uh, your next question, where are the vertical lines? So the same thing, compare and contrast the two artworks, decide where the vertical lines are. Are they at the top? Are they at the left? Or are they at the right? Or at the bottom of the artworks and then come back to your Venn diagram and add that answer. Okay, then your third question. How do you think the use of horizontal and vertical lines affects the mood of each painting? Now, this is asking you about the mood of each Okay, not both, the mood of each. So this answer, you will have an answer for Richard's side of the Venn diagram, and you'll have an answer for Claude's. Okay? This concludes the tutorial. When you're finished, all you need to do is close it and it will save your changes. Go to view assignment and you can turn it in. If you're worried that your answers aren't there, you can double click. You can see if anything's missing. When I did some of my undos, it undid Claude Monet's name. So I'm gonna go back to my first slide, click in the text box that has Claude Monet's name, click and drag to highlight, right click my mouse, copy it, I'm going to allow it to copy. Go back to my Venn diagram, Claude is the second artist. So I'm gonna click in here, highlight, right click, paste, there's Claude Monet's information Okay, anything else that I'm missing? No, I have my answers, I have my answers. You will have more answers than what is written here. And I can close this and then turn in my work. Yes, I want to turn it in. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial. If you have any more questions, you can email me fosterk at marshallisd.com or email me through your assignment and I will reply as soon as possible. Remember to make every day special.